This is our second time with this deck before we had the red as they want us. Quick look through the cards. And anyway, let's get this one underway as I'm excited. And before we begin, a little couple questions for you. So for those of you who live in the United States, what state do you live in? And for those of you who don't live in the United States, what state would you like to live in? All right, that's question number one. Now the second question is, who is your favorite president? And that one was actually very interesting, not just for the United States citizens, but for the non-U.S. citizens. And it would be cool if you could leave an explanation why. Honestly, lots of interesting choices that could be made there. And I want you to guess who you think my favorite president is. Why not? Anyway, let's begin our night of solitaire.
actually a much better start than our other game. So let's see what we have in store for our second one. Even better. All right. You ready for this one? You know I am. Do you know it's something I just thought of? It's very common for presidents to have the names in a high school, or high schools to have the name of presidents. So did your high school have a name of a president? And does that sound weird to you? Not living in the United States. Because, and for example, let's just use North Korea. Now, I'm not saying this is funny, but it, it could be. Imagine a Kim Jong-un high school. It just doesn't roll off the tongue. But actually, there probably are many Kim Jong-un or Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un high schools. Things along those lines. But I wonder if, for example, in Australia, Canada, if you have your presidents, prime ministers, whichever type of government you may have, or former government officials as names of schools. And interesting enough, for whatever reason, it's more of the presidents that you don't really learn much about. For example, James A. Garfield, or Coolidge, I guess.
surprising, honestly. That game looked to be dead in the water. But we somehow come back with a fairly easy victory. So let's stack up our suits. Decent texture to the cards, good durability, good artwork front and back, pretty much everything is good and above. So with that being said, this deck earns a solid 8 and a half out of 10. There is room to grow, and let's do this. All right, even better. Any queen lands us.
What do you think of these cards, by the way? I should have asked that earlier. just thinking of how in the United States, typically with presidents, especially historical, they have their own little catchphrase, and I was trying to think of some catchphrases over the years, like the older ones, and I thought about be like Ike. You know who to go, or where to go, but Woodrow.
So that would have been our third. And then we would go through once again. Nowhere for that five, and then nowhere for that queen. We would still end up ultimately in a loss. Yeah, still a loss because that two of clubs was so important. Anyway, we move on to our final game of the night. Double kings, and that is it. So, I always keep these at the end because I just don't want to do it at the beginning. So, for those of you who don't know, I have channel memberships. We have some bonus videos over there. A little bit of a series and a series within the series. Check it out if that intrigues you. If not, we're all good. Let's just keep this game going. Just gotta remind myself to throw those self-promotions in now and again because something you will learn if you haven't already in life more often than not your biggest promoter will be yourself anyway let's see if we can crack into these stacks as if we have our queen Give us a black jack, a black king. Ooh, yeah, this is done. Looks like we just ran out of luck at the end, but we still managed to get a win on our night, as there's nowhere for that ten. seven. All we can do is play that too. And with that being said, we are done. Another episode down to our journey to 1000. We add some stats to our line. So let's see which cards were left unturned. In our final game of the night, as we have double nines, Sixes, eights, jacks, 